Thank you. Thank you. We're here at the White Wall Sessions with Jeff Thompson. Welcome, Jeff. Hey, thank you. So when the White Wall Sessions first started in season one, back in the old studio, old, yeah. two old studios ago, yeah. um, we started with Steve Zastro, but you were one of the first. Four. Yeah, I think I was number two. Oh, on you the, the second list, yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. So there's a long legacy with uh, yep. White Wall Sessions. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, and I've been keeping track ever since, so it's been nice. Good. Yeah, that... That was in the old studio, and of course, you couldn't turn the air conditioning on, and it was really no. hot. Yeah, I, I've seen some of the old film, and yeah. <laughs> Sweat dropping down yeah, your nose. Yeah. It looked like a prize fighter, yeah. <laughs> so you've been around music for a long time, Jeff. Yep. Uh, Zebrick is kind of the, the thing that a lot of people associate you with, yeah. which was a band in the 70s and 80s? Yeah, well, we never made it to the 80s. Um, 75 is when we were doing a lot of the playing, 75, 76, 77. And by early 78, uh, that's when we broke up. Okay. Yeah. And then, so one of the things I remember distinctly about Zebrick is that it was an original band. Yeah. In sort of a land of cover bands. Yeah. Was that intentional? I mean, did you just, a lot of original guys say, well, we try to play covers, but we just found it's easier to write our own. How did you come to originals versus covers? Well, really, uh, a lot of the cover bands, you know, they start out imitating bands that they enjoy, you know. And we did the same thing, but we imitated them by writing our own songs. Because we look at our heroes at that time, uh, Led Zeppelin, there would have been Humble Pie, The Stones, um, things like that. And we looked at them, and for the most part, they're playing their own songs. And we said, well, that's how you do it. So, uh, for better or worse, we started writing our own. So, but definitely, but your peers weren't writing their own, right? So, what is it that made you think we can do this? And it, was that a steep hill to climb? It was definitely a state of mind. Um, <laughs> I think we just enjoyed that aspect of things. And it wasn't really um, saying we want to do this in spite of what everyone else is doing. It was just something we all felt natural doing. And so it was pretty organic, for lack of a better word. You know, it was just something that came about. That's how we did it. Was it hard to get gigs as an original band? Um, sometimes, yeah. And I think, you know, as people know me, I, I think that's where some of the chip on my shoulder over the years came, as far as the original music versus cover bands uh it was harder and a lot of times you got judged by just saying you were an original band and they didn't even have to hear you know what you played or how you did at such and such bar or whatever they just heard original and it was something no one else was doing so they were afraid and it's a money business and so people don't want to stick up money unless they're guaranteed money back they knew what was selling, you know, the same 40 songs that you hear today, you know, if you go out to a bar. And back then, we were sort of strange for them, and they didn't want to take a chance. But we were persistent. Uh, we built up a small to medium-sized but very vocal following, and we got ourselves some good gigs. Did you have, like, cassettes or anything you were passing out at gigs or selling? You know, the, we did 145. Um, we went out to Rapid City. <laughs> there again, why isn't Zebrick famous? Um, <laughs> we went out to Rapid City to record this. I have no reason why we did that. But we went out there and we recorded a 45. It was called Stay the Night and... Uh, it was fun. It got in a few jukeboxes, you know, at the time. and But it didn't sound anything like the band. Oh, really? Yeah, it didn't sound a thing like the band. I listen to it now, and I, I just have to smile because I remember the times. But, yeah, it didn't sound like Zebrick. Well, not many guys can say they have a 45 in their collection that they re recorded. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. I have a thousand of them, so. <laughs> yeah.